Welcome again to Acting Out of Love. When we're looking at Luke's account in the book of Acts, as he gives us the history of these early disciples or early apostles as they act in love toward God and act in love toward others, spreading this good news that Jesus is the Christ, the one God raised from the dead. As we come to Acts chapter 6, Acts chapter 6, we find the apostles, the disciples, well, in a bind. And what will they do about it? Acts chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Now in those days, while the disciples were multiplying in number, there was grumbling from the Hellenists against the Hebrews, because their widows were being overlooked in the daily serving of food. So the twelve summoned the congregation of the disciples and said, It is not pleasing to God for us to neglect the word of God in order to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, select from among yourself seven men of good reputation, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may put in charge of this need. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the service of the word. And this word pleased the whole congregation. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch. And these they stood before the apostles, and after praying they laid their hands on them. And the word of God kept on spreading, and the number of the disciples continued to multiply greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were becoming obedient to the faith. This is one of those situations that, that happens. As groups of people grow, problems arise. And that's exactly what's happened here. The number of disciples is increasing, and there are some who are Hellenist, proselyte Jews. They were Greeks who had become Jews who were now obeying the gospel, and they felt like their people were being neglected by the predominantly Jewish church. And so they make their complaint, their observations known. The apostles realize that this is growing beyond what the 12 of them can do, so they make this, I think, inspired suggestion. Choose from among yourself those who can take care of this. And we'll approve them, and then we can dedicate ourselves to prayer and to the Word of God. And let these men worry about, well, serving tables. And so they choose these seven men that are named. And I think the most amazing thing is what happens next. The numbers increase. The Word of God keeps on spreading. They're still in Jerusalem. They're still right there in that center of where it began. But they see these numbers increasing. Because their focus is on the word of God. And on prayer. And on leading people to God. And having someone else, others in the congregation, take care of those physical needs. No one's being overlooked now. And people are pulling together. It's amazing what happens when, when we as a church, when we as a people, pull together and each do our part to meet needs and to make God and Christ known. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much that we can look in your word and we see even in these early days of the church, there were problems that arose. But Father, we see that they worked for a solution. They pulled from among themselves and found a way to, to correct the problem, make sure no one was being overlooked. Father, help us to have a similar attitude that we realize that when problems occur, it's not personal necessarily, but it is oftentimes just an oversight. And help us who are in leadership to do our best to repair that oversight and to repair relationships. Father, those of us who are not in leadership, help us to step up and help take care of the things that may fall through the cracks when others are busy doing other things. Father, help us to do our best to relieve the burden of the physical things from those who, who are focused on, on your sheep and meeting their spiritual needs. Father, help us to step up and be the people that we need to be, showing our love for each other 
and our love for you. Help us to act out of love. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you. As always, I look forward to these and I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. Gentle